Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a video on a couple new piercings that I got. So if you all know by the title, I got my Crunch Pierced and my Ford Helix done uh, on the same ear. So on my left ear, I've got my Crunch Punched to 4mm and now I've got the other side pierced as well. So it is now seven days after getting the piercings done. I'm just cleaning them morning and night with saline solution and cotton bud, just going around where I can and kind of not too fast. I saw some videos where people were kind of really struggling with getting into the back of their Ford Helix um, in particular and they kind of had someone else helping them out with it and getting in there and trying to get around but I don't want to mess it around that much so I'm just getting where I can. At the moment it's still quite sore and delicate so I don't want to irritate it any more than kind of needs to be. I'm just making sure it's clean, getting that solution in there, getting rid of any crusties and blood that needs getting rid of but kind of not trying to make it spotless because that will happen over time and it will be okay. And then just same with my crunch, just clearing around the front and then I just kind of hold it delicately in my fingers like that and then use my thumb to sort of guide where I'm cleaning it. Once you've got a kind of hand on it, your other hand will kind of be able to go around it whereas if you try and just go for it, it can be difficult to find where you need to clean. This is what they look like. The Ford Helix has a curved barbell in it and is 1.2 millimeters in diameter. The Conch has a straight barbell on, just ball on the front, ball on the back. And I think she pierced that with a thicker one, which is like 1.6 maybe. So going to get them done. I went to Asgard in Winchester because I was going with my sister as well and we were both getting piercings. So she did the Ford Helix first, got that one in, and then she did the conch second so that she wasn't kind of gonna hit the Ford Helix while she was doing the conch. We just decided that would be the better order to do it in. And I mentioned that I wanna get a couple more in my conch as well. I want to have like two or three in there. So she kind of did a couple of dots of kind of different placements and I said actually I'd want them further up but I just want to get one at the moment and I'll go for that one. So that's what we did. It's sort of lower in my ear than my conches. My conch is pretty high up here but that one kind of low but then it leaves more room above it for when I want to get more. After I got these done I realised I'd never gotten to piercings in the same ear before and it kind of I think has extended the kind of sensitivity time of my ear. Just noticed that they've kind of been quite sore and like I don't recall my conch being like when I got my conch punched it being that sore for quite so long maybe it was and I just can't remember. That's a punch as well like it's thicker it's bigger like you'd expect it to hurt more whereas these are piercings and I was like it'll be fine and they're kind of still quite so they're not too bad now. For sleeping, I brought a travel cushion thing. This one has a couple of things you can click together and you can adjust these as well to kind of make it bigger or smaller. Uh, but I just use this to sleep on. So I just put my ear in it like this. For the first few nights sleeping with this, it was super uncomfortable and First night was really hard, couldn't sleep well. Second night, I slept fine. Then third night again, couldn't sleep. But then like after that, I've been okay. And I kind of just had to get used to kind of using it when it was gonna help me. And if it was making it harder for me to sleep, then just moving it away. And then I could always grab it back when I needed it. Um, but that has been really good. And also in helping with my flat piercing up here. This one kind of always has had a kind of swelling around it. I don't know what it is, but that's been going down now that I've not been sleeping on it as well, because I think that was the issue with it, was just me sleeping on it and kind of irritating it in the night. So 
in terms of bleeding, my Bold Helix had a bit of uh, blood around it when I kind of cleaned it for the first four or so days, but the past couple of days it's not had anything on it, just cleaning it out and every now and then I'll get a bit of uh, blood or crusty out from kind of behind it. My clutch has been fine, not really had any blood or anything on that. For like discomfort wise in kind of day to day life, the Ford Helix has kind of been a little bit uncomfortable with me wearing glasses. It's okay now though, but like especially the first kind of five days again. I was getting used to wearing the glasses and then having that kind of whole area be quite sensitive just kind of added to the pain and discomfort of it so sometimes I take my glasses off just to give my ear a bit of a break but that's fine now and then the conch seems to be fine except sometimes like where we've got to wear face masks now um, if you wear the ones that kind of go around your ear that will get caught on it all the time so I wear ones which tie up around the back of my head and then I can just kind of lift it over my ear when I'm taking it on and off and that is a lot better. That is my experience getting them done. I hope that you found this helpful. If you have any questions feel free to ask. I am not a professional piercer. You know, I'm just interested in piercings and like getting them. Your best bet is to do your own research as well and if this is part of your research then cool. Um, but there are lots of really good piercing channels on YouTube with actual piercers in them that have a lot of really good information in as well that you should take a look at. Pangea piercing was a good one that I used to watch a lot. He's not doing much at the moment but he's got loads of good videos on his channel. Then there's piercing, uh, body piercing and tattooing as well. The guy who does that is also another piercer, gives out lots of good information. You know, watching people like me who have just gotten a piercing is good for kind of judging the experience, but you don't always get proper information. And also, if you have any questions, just go and ask your piercer. They'll be able to give you the most up-to-date information for your area because things can change from where you are just kind of with the environment that can affect things. Also they'll know what they've pierced you with and what jewelry you have in and kind of be able to get a hands-on look at it. If you found this video helpful then I'm very glad that I will see you again soon. Bye!